you know what, I, I, I think I'm done with plastic and board games. Let's talk about it. What's up everybody, my name is Michael E. Murphy, I'm one half of the Brothers Murph, and it's Metagame Minute, a weekly segment where we talk about a board game topic that has been on our minds. And I wanna talk about plastic and board games. As we know, the environment's a thing, and plastic is usually antithesis to the environment being good and healthy and whole. <laughs> Uh, and it kind of sticks around for a while once we're done with it. So over the last few years, we've seen uh, kind of an ongoing discussion in board games about the ecological impact that board games have. Uh, and the fact that there's a lot of pieces that are kind of not super biodegradable and things like that. And sometimes, as you saw right there, there's some games that have a lot, a lot, a lot of plastic in them. And this is by no means like, this is how the game should be and everything like that. but. It has got me thinking about, do I need minis in games? Uh, do I, can I get by with screen printed wooden pieces? Uh, you know, can I, can I forego some of maybe the extra, extra level deluxified-ness of components if it means that we can maybe make less of a footprint with our hobby? Uh, I don't pretend to have all the answers about that and stuff, but I have noticed that like a lot of games these days have really cool wooden bits that are all sorts of unique shapes and sizes. Way back in the day, we had like discs and cubes, and that was kind of it. But now you have these all these different kind of meeples and uniquely shaped meeples, and maybe each player can have uniquely shaped wooden pieces uh, that, that delineate them from another player, which is kind of giving me the same thing that I get from miniatures and stuff, is some sort of sense of, of uniqueness and uh, quality and things like that. So uh, that's what I just wanna ask you, where are you at on the kind of plastic <laughs> debate with board games? You know, I've had I've heard arguments about the fact that, and I think this is true, one thing that's nice about board games is they don't really hit the landfill, I feel like, as often as maybe other kind of consumables and things do. Ideally, a board game gets passed from one home to another happy home. Certainly, if we ever get rid of a game, it doesn't just go into the trash. We either, you know, try to send it to a library or something, or if we have anyone at all that's interested in the game, we try to find it a new happy home so it stays out of something like a landfill for a long time. That is one thing I think that is going for us in this hobby is that stuff doesn't necessarily hit the trash all that often certainly compared to many other industries. I feel like we have a responsibility to at least think about, discuss, explore alternative materials to make things. If we can make miniatures out of something else that is a little bit more eco-friendly in the long run, things, these things are gonna break down over time after we are long <laughs> gone and, and have finished playing with them. If they can find a way to kind of return to the earth more swiftly and naturally, uh, I think that would be fantastic. And certainly just making something wood is not the answer. We have to then think about treatments and processes and all sorts of things like that. But it is a discussion that I wanna have more. I think it's exciting when we have it. And honestly, like I'm a Euro player, but like I could probably live without minis. I could probably get around it, especially if you can find ways to make really cool pieces using maybe just a natural resource like wood. Make wood for your wood pieces in the game and I can dig it. So that's all I got for you, but I wanna hear you. Where are you at on this? How do you make sense of kind of the ecological impact of board games? Uh, do you think it's a, a something worth worrying about at all? It is a fairly niche hobby after all, but I wanna get your thoughts on it. So leave those in the comments below. And until next time, just remember that wherever you fall on miniatures, all plastic all the time, completely make everything out of burlap because that falls apart easily. <laughs> the more meta, the more better. Boom, Metagame Minutes back just like that. You know what else is back? Restoration Games is a sponsor of the Brothers Murph. And who's joining the party? You know it's Board Game Geek and Lucky Duck Games. Check out links for all of their business in the description of this video. And we also have a monthly sponsor in Nike Nick. Now, I don't know if you know this, but Nike Nick is actually the offspring of a science experiment gone totally wrong where Nick, my brother Nick, tried to splice himself with an athletic sneaker and Nike Nick was born. You know, and the thing is, is Nike Nick's athletic, but at what cost? You got Nick's brain, Nick's nose, and you got Nike's everything else. That makes no sense, but you know what makes sense? Liking this video, commenting, let me know what you think about that plastic, 
and subscribe to the Brothers Murph if you appreciate these types of videos. Let us know. We are keen to listen and do ever more things that make you happy. Cha-cha, cha-cha, cha-cha. I'm saying it quietly because there's a baby right behind me. Don't wake her up. <laughs>